Hey, Robin Beasley here. Hope you're having an awesome day. I am sharpening my ax. I don't know if you've ever heard that lumberjack uh, cliche story metaphor. Anyhow, metaphor. I'm not very good with my English words, whatever. Anyhow, I want to encourage you to make sure that you are doing things that are high leverage, that are high performing. Now, I have lots of things that I could be doing in an office setting in the sense that I could be punching a clock, um, data entry, getting a bunch of things done. The reality is though that you have to be doing things that are promotion. You have to do things that are fulfilling things that you need to in order to you know follow through with something or follow up on something those promotion and those those kind of pieces are number one they are the most important thing of the day uh kind of that i think one of my coaches calls it provision or maybe that's the other one whatever what i want to share is to you that i'm taking this time to recover we've had i've had a wild couple days very full intense um a lot of things that needed to get done. So today is a bit of a slow down day. I said to my husband, I said, I'm not talking to anybody today, <laughs> which is not quite accurate. But what I'm saying is that you don't always have to be 100% on your game. You have to recover. Your body needs to recover. Your mind needs to recover. And so I'm taking a walk and I'm sweating. It is hot here in Texas. Um, and it is uh, September 30th. And yeah, what I want to share is that pedestrian thing or um, like things that anybody can do that you could outsource if you need to you could delegate that literally could be done when you're not in peak performance because it's kind of mindless if that makes sense um some things i need to do like you know whatever it is so i encourage you i'm walking i get my creative juices flow when i have some music playing i might turn it off i actually started walking and i brought a pad of paper with me um so that i could jot some things down get out and move your body your body's gonna going to help you think and it don't if you can't do it outside then find somewhere find an escape you know where i really love going i love going to malls now some people really like quiet and solitude and i can find that internally um but i love some of those like rest areas like just like they're quiet put your earphones in put some noise canceling headphones in check out grab yourself a coffee you can walk it's climate controlled uh it's a great place i've and, and airports strangely enough i get a lot of work done in both those places because i can kind of like check out but like there's action there's movement and it kind of like it gets my creative ju juices flying and flowing so my workout clothes because I worked out hard a few days while I was away they are in the wash and so when I left to go this morning to go take my kids to school I put this t-shirt on and I'm sweating this is not a shirt I would normally go for a walk-in but you know what who cares the, the the most important thing is that you at the end of the day I love to ask myself, would I hire or fire myself based on the things I did today? There are lots of days where I'm like, oh, I want to beat myself up, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Now, what I want to tell you is encourage you is you don't always have to be on 150%. There are days where you have to take it easier. You have to take it slower. This is more energy I've probably expelled like since I woke up this morning because I was, I, I got home from grocery shopping. I I posted that earlier uh, really early this morning my husband and I got into town with our kids and I was like I need to go get groceries for lunches and so I did that at 6 a.m. I say that because when I got home I like and we were getting our kids ready to go to school and go drop them off I said to my husband I said uh, not all my cylinders are working here like I <laughs> I'm on a little I'm running a little bit slow here right now and so you know what that recovery that rejuvenation is so important now if you punch a clock and you work for somebody else right now and you're an entrepreneur, realize that you're not going to be able to be as productive five days a week or seven days. Well, I t encourage you to take at least one day of rest uh, and and then really recover those days. But and worship for that's what I like to do on Sundays is worship and serve and just, you know, reconnect. Now, I say that I want to encourage you to I'm dehydrated. I drank a whole bunch of water here. Tongue tied. Uh, but what I want to say, wrap this up is that you're not gonna be 100% high, high performing every day. But the high lever, the high leverage, high performing for me today is slow down to speed up. I'm spending some time formulating a plan for the rest of my day for the next few hours. Knockouts a power session. Because I promise you, we procrastinate on so many things. And we, if you track your time, I promise you, you're wasting so much time in your day. I don't, this is not wasteful time. Like this has been intentional, uh, I, I'm following the nudge of what I feel like I need to do. I'm following my body. So, hey, happy. Today, it's Monday for me. I don't know what day it is to you. Have an amazing day, whatever day of the week it is that you watch this. Have a fantastic day. 
And hey, tomorrow is the first day of October and there's been a big push. I'm a big Rachel Hollis fan and follower and she's pushing her last 90 days, which is a great system if you don't have a system that works for you right now or you wanna you know, reset and really you know, do something else. But it is the last 90 days of this decade. Where were you when January 1st, 2000 came? Well, we're just about, uh, that's the decade that I always think about, but it's about to be 2020. And this is the last 90 days of 2019 and of this decade. So, hey, finish it strong. Uh, there are lots of things that I haven't got done this year that I thought I would. Quite honestly, if I look back the last year, the last calendar year, it has been some of the best days of a year that I've ever had. And they've also been some of the lowest and the worst. And so that's growth. That, that, is, that is leadership. That is growing. That is professionally developing. And so I encourage you to embrace the opportunity to evolve as a person. Because if you're the same person right now that you were five years ago, then, then let's take the first step right now so that in five years time, you're not that same person again. Get it? Let's do something right now to become a better version of yourself or whatever that looks like for you. Have an awesome day. See you later.